Hey guys, it's Josh from the WL Tech Blog. Today I'm going to take one for the team and show you how to set up Cloner on Windows. Alright guys, we're going to get ready to set up Cloner here. Now Cloner is a application you use with Ingenic processor based devices when you need to flash firmware on it using its recovery mode and sometimes you might need to induce that recovery mode which I'll show you how to do in another video that's specific to a device but for this one we are going to set up cloner so to, we're going to start off with going to thingino.com and come down here we're going to go to the github link And then we're going to go over to the wiki. Now we're going to scroll this down, show more. Scroll this down. It's Ingenic USB Cloner. So we'll go to this page. And there's a lot of information here about it, as well as some links. So we're going to go with Ingenic Cloner for Windows. Go ahead and get that downloaded and we're going to open up our downloads folder going to right click going to extract all and we're going to put this on our desktop And we'll have it go ahead and open up when it's done. So there we go. Alright, here we go. So we've got the folder with the driver and the folder with the software. We've got Cloner 2543 Windows Alpha. And to run Cloner, you just double click on Cloner here. Now, Windows is super helpful. So you have to hit run anyway. And so here you have Cloner. Now when you go to use Cloner, you go to the config page and you see you've got platform and board. So depending on what processor you have, you're going to be changing these. For example, you either have T or A series. All these cameras that we work with are T series and there are a lot of choices for which processor if you look at the firmware file for your particular camera it will show you which processor you have so for example the wise cam 2 otherwise known as the neo spark cam uses a t20 so if we are trying to flash one of those cameras then we choose t20 we go to SFC NOR Writer Full Config. We come over to Policy. Now this has some pre-filled stuff. We don't need to change these because these are already correct for this one. But just so you can tell, there's uh, type is file. The ops is SFC NOR offset is zero and the attribute here that's the file name that we're going to be flashing and to change the file you click on the setting here and it'll take you into your file explorer and if you have an image file which i don't have one downloaded at the moment then that's where you would select it and once you've got that done you hit save it asks you if you want to save you say yes and then you click start now once you've done that you're going to plug in your camera and if it's already ready to go into recovery mode it'll come right up although you might need to still install the driver all right if your device is in bootloader mode and you don't have the driver installed it's going to show up in your device manager here as a usb boot device under other devices and what you want to do to install the driver 
is you can just right click, do update driver. It's gonna say search automatically or browse my computer. Hit browse my computer. And then we're gonna hit browse here. And we're gonna go to the desktop. We're gonna open cloner here. And then we're going to open cloner Win32 driver and hit okay there. Hit next, it should install the driver. And now it shows USB cloner device. So we'll go ahead and close the device manager and let's download a firmware for this camera. I have a Wisecam version 2 that has no, no operating system on it. And I'm not sure which sensor I have, but we're going to start with the 23. If you're downloading this yourself, you should already know which sensor you have. For this particular cam, the WISE version 2, the only difference between the firmwares is the sensor. So the rest of the cam will come up and you can switch between them pretty easily if you get the wrong one. So come over to policy and go to the setting here. And now we can choose the Geno WISE Cam 2 JXF23. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna save. Yes, we wanna save the configuration. We're gonna hit start and then we're going to unplug and then we're going to replug and the processor when it starts to boot up is going to recognize that it doesn't have any way to boot and then in a few seconds it's going to go in recovery mode which is what we have here and you see cloner has taken over the stage it's erasing the flash and when that's done it's going to jump over to the writing of the full image this camera is a 16 megabyte so it takes a few seconds to do we can also look at the window the cloner opened here and you can see a bit more detail as it's functioning right now it's just sitting on a race because that is a single command that it executes and then waits for it to complete all right, so the erase is done. It's now writing the full image. Once it's done doing the programming, you want to unplug the camera and plug it back in to get it rebooted. So the image process is complete. We can go ahead and unplug the camera. And now if we plug it back into a power source, it's going to boot into our Thingino operating system and you're going to get the Wi-Fi config portal and everything as you would expect. So we'll go ahead and hit stop on cloner and we'll close it and it is done. Then you move over to your phone or tablet and get connected to the config network and get it all set up. All right, so that's it for this one. We went ahead and installed cloner on a Windows laptop and we used it to flash a Wisecam version 2 that was already in bootloader mode. I'm going to do another video specifically on this model of camera where I'm going to show you how to take it apart and how to put it into bootloader mode if it's crashed in some way that it's not going in automatically. So look forward to that. All right, we'll see you next time. Till then, stay fresh, cheese bags.